Hey guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Today, I'm going to show you how to propagate by seed a dragon fruit that I bought at the grocery store, as usual. And um, they're really easy to do, except people give up because it could take like three weeks before the seeds appear. I actually, the first time I did it, I forgot about it. And then I looked over and I'm like, this happens a lot with me. Um, so there's a fun fact that I have to share with you though. I'll tell you the answer at the end. A dragon fruit blooms only at night. By midnight, it's done. So what um, pollinates it if it's at night? You would be surprised. So these are very easy to do. I cut this in half to speed up everything. All I do is I take a knife and I just drag it along here and I kind of pull everything to one section. See how, see how nice these are? And there's your seeds right there. Then, this is important. I use clay pots because what happens is you don't want plastic will the, where they'll rot. So I just basically drop the seeds in here. And um, what's interesting, while they bloom at night, the seeds need light to germinate. So they're just going to be sowed on top of the moist soil. And that's it. Then I water them in. Now you have a choice. You could um, cover it with plastic, but since it takes so long, it's gonna rot. You could take a tall cup with holes in it and um, put it in. But even better, I take a toothpick and I hold it up just a little bit. You want air circulation in here and check it. You know, every once in a while, pick it up, get some fresh air in there, and put it in there. Okay, here's some of them that I've done from seed. This is my first batch. And by the way, we're going to propagate these by getting cuttings from this too. Yeah, you could do that. Now, the dragon fruit is like the miracle fruit now for our skin. And the reason why is because it's high in antioxidants, but it's the fatty acids that's really making people have firmer skin. And um, But it also, as a bonus, rids body of heavy metals. It's I love the history of these plants. Okay, so what you want to do, put your plant in a sunny window or somewhere where there's a lot of sun and just wait. Don't throw it out. Make sure it never dries out, just slightly damp. Now, since the dragon fruit blooms at night, by the way, fragrant flowers, so if you put them in pots, put them where you're gonna be in the evening. But moths and bats, Bats pollinate the dragon fruit. Isn't that interesting? The only issue that they have is with insecticides to get rid of mosquitoes and all that. It's killing the bats and um, getting rid of the mosquito population. So it's a little harder to um, basically pollinate the dragon fruit. So think about that when you're... Um, spraying around your dragon fruit. But this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm and please subscribe, like, and share. And then next we'll propagate by a cutting on this. Have a great day.